I've been chosen last since the kindergarten. Walking the grass, and it's this real. Hello, guys, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm at Crown Academy. And I know there's been a lot of drama surrounding Khan Academy and Royal High, but I want to set that aside and actually play and test this game out. Because I do um, want to look at this in the lens of not a copy of Royal High. I want to see it as a game itself and rate it that way. So, um, I am in the dorms and this kitchen is like absolutely beautiful. I mean... I love the design that goes to Crown Academy. It's like absolutely beautiful. I love everything about it. Like, I'm not gonna lie, but I love this and it's like I like this better than the Royal High kind of look. Although I don't really like the, um, the E and the stuff like that. Cause, I mean, I, I like it when it just does it automatically or if you just click on it yourself. But I think that's fine, and I feel like this is a lot like Adopt Me as well. As you can tell, I have a horse or a pet, and her name is Rosie. I, I was playing this earlier before I decided to record and show you guys all about it. So yes, I have played this before. I'm on level 9, as you can tell. And I just started like literally this morning because I heard that it was free because it used to be 200 robux um because it was beta it still is and yeah the one problem they have with the lockers though is that every single time that you click on your locker you have to like reset your pin um whenever you join a new game i wish that they would like keep it that way and um so again this part is also a lot like royal high but we're just going to say it's inspiration, right? Because having lockers is, it's a worldwide thing, you know? And so I don't think that's a problem. And then breakfast and all the schedules is just like normal, like Roblox um, high school kind of stuff. So I don't think that's a big deal. And I love their flying. I mean, who doesn't like flying in a game? And plus, their, their version of flying or, like, riding the horse, it's so much like the Minecraft horse. And, like, whenever you pet or feed it, it gives out, like, these hearts like you would in Minecraft. So I think that's just super funny. And I can tell that this game takes a lot of inspiration from all different types of games. And I don't think there's a problem with that because games copy, not copy, well... Yeah, they basically copy each other. Games copy. I mean, take Meep City and Adopt Me, for example. They both have the same, like, idea. They both have the same idea. Raising a pet or something like that. Having a house, having jobs, getting money, and then Overlook Bay. And it's basically Adopt Me. But I don't think anybody has a problem with that. So, I don't have a problem with um, Crown Academy being the school princess kind of thing. Because, honestly, I mean, let's be real. Like, Royal High is based off of Winx Club, so, I mean, everything takes a little bit of inspiration from everywhere. And plus, it's not like they absolutely copied everything. They still have their own, like, kind of edge to their game. And I love that, and I absolutely love the animations and the, just the map. It's so pretty. I mean, the sky and the trees, and I just love the detail that goes to um, Crown Academy. And the maps are huge. I don't know if I typically, like, really enjoy that part, but it is, it brings a lot more of exploring to do, and it's a lot more fun. The thing is... Um, in Rural High, I can get bored very easily, but I feel like in Crown Academy, their classes are actually pretty entertaining. There's no way to really, um, skip it, I guess, or, like, to just memorize the things, how to do it, because it's very interactive. Take it, like, the dress-up thing. I mean, I feel like that kind of stuff, 
you, know, you have to vote for each other. Again, the dress up uh, class, I guess, it takes inspiration from all those fashion famous kind of stuff. And then the art class, it's. I mean, it's art class. <laughs> what do you expect? And then you just choose colors, but there's no way to really cheat the system and know all the answers like you can in Royal High. I like that part, and I also don't like that part. Because at the same time, it's like faster you could get more diamonds or bubbles, right? But also at the same time, you lose your interest in doing it, and it's not fun anymore. But I can't always bash on Royal High, you know? Crown Academy obviously has its downfalls. It is very much very similar to Royal High. And I've got to say this, but the Royal High like fandom, I guess, is a little bit aggressive when it comes to these kind of things. I know they got mad at all the fountain kind of things, but it didn't take away the originality from the Royal High fountain. They didn't have it there, and I respect that totally. But... I cannot respect the way they have their, like, um, wings and their, like, dresses and heels to be, like, so similar to the Royal High ones. I cannot respect that part of Crown Academy. Absolutely not. That is plain stealing. I get it when it comes to inspiration, but it should look totally different. But... You guys do have to remember that Royal High, if you look at the fluttering, uh, flutter, I cannot speak, fluttering butterfly set, it is the exact same thing as the Butterflix thing in um, Lynx Club, and Enchantix is in Lynx, so Royal High is not an original idea itself, okay? It is basically just Lynx Club in a Roblox game. And people love it for that. And a lot of people also don't see it because they have not watched Wings Club. And so, if, for example, it's like Crown Academy is basically doing the same thing with Royal High, except with nobody watching Wings Club, it's everybody plays Royal High before. So, I that's the slip up of Crown Academy. And I feel like they could do it a little bit better, but they really need to fix their stuff. Although I did see some of their skirts and shoes and stuff like that that I saw from other videos about Crown Academy. It has kind of disappeared or something or changed somehow. But I really do like the process of Crown Academy. I really enjoyed playing this, actually. <laughs> I was playing this, um during one of my classes that I just didn't really care about, I guess. I mean, it wasn't that I cared about my classes. It was just boring, and there was not much going on. It's like, you don't really need to pay attention. It's just everybody introducing themselves, and so boring. So this is the fashion class that I was talking about. It's a lot like if you played Animal Jam, um, Best Dressed, and... Um, Again, the fashion famous. So, that's... I actually really like this idea. And I like how they put the tweaks. Because sometimes, I really wish Royal High had that. Where I can adjust where it goes. Because sometimes it goes over my hair and stuff like that. And it gets annoying. And some people from um, the other videos are talking about how you have to buy your hair. And it's just so bad or something like that. But no, you don't have to buy all the hairs. I think it's just the exclusive hairs. And some people, I guess, you cannot always um, judge right away based on what others have told you. Like, there's so much drama about it on Twitter and stuff like that. And, you know, that obviously led me to like not like Crown Academy. But I began thinking to myself, well, this is basically the same way as if one, a group of people disliked this thing, started hate, and it is spread um, through everybody. But it was a good thing, you know, it was a good person. But that one person 
just spread rumors or just kept hating on something, exaggerated hating. It's, it's really sad, to be honest. I mean, this is a really nice game. And it was well done. But it just chose the wrong fandom to mess with, I guess. But I can't say that it was all their fault. I do believe that it was partially the fandom's fault. And I'm not sorry for saying that. To be honest, the Royal High fandom takes things a little too seriously. So, yeah. Overall, I love this game for what it is. It's a really nice game, and I enjoy playing it, and I will play it. I will not stop playing because someone told me not to, or someone told me that it's something bad or something. Because it's not. I purely think it's just a fan who just took on too big of a chunk of the goal. Maybe it was just too similar, but I can't blame them for that. So, there you guys go. This is Crown Academy, and I like it. I'm on my own, broken and alone. I feel the rain crashing down. Turn around, this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, yeah, I'm aware. Angels in red skirts aren't even there. It's in the air, like a place and stare After playing this for a while, I have accumulated 2,106 pearls and I really wanted to buy something from here. And I think, well, a lot of accessories is very much like the Royal High ones. And they're a little bit overpriced to be honest. There are some really cheap things and some really expensive things. But I really don't understand how they chose how, which ones are expensive and which ones aren't. And they should really like reorganize their tabs to be like the cheapest to the most expensive because I just think it's easier to look at and I can find what I need faster. So um, after looking at these a lot, I decided that I wanted to get a skirt because um, I mean, it's a skirt. I feel like if I just got accessories or something, it'd be kind of plain and boring. I didn't want heels because I already had the body type of like chibi or something. I forgot. So I um, decided on going with a skirt. The, they do have the designer things, which I think is basically kind of like a set, but I don't really know what that's all about. So I got the Parison mini and I didn't know they came with like the bodice kind of thing too so it's really a dress and less of a skirt so I think that's really pretty and I matched it with 
the scarf thing that I got because I leveled up into a certain level, I forgot. And honestly, this is really pretty. I really like it and it's, I mean, it's cool. And then afterwards, I messed around with socks and stuff like that. Uh, you guys will see. <laughs> oh, also, this is the scale and the tweaks part. For some reason, the positioning is not working right now, but I guess they will fix it. And the rotation doesn't work either. So, I just used scale. I mean, it's pretty handy. I wanted my skirt thingy to be a little bit bigger because, um, you know, you, I, I like bigger skirts, I guess, but I can't make it that big because of the bodice. But, you know, if you do just have the skirt, you can change the size, guys. Remember that. And I, that's what I love about the Crown Academy stuff. And for the outfits, you can change the color of the outfits. Like, there can be an additional hue over on top of it, and I think that's so cool. Like, if you just wanted the outfit, but you wanted it to be a different color, I mean, that's perfect. So, I think if Crown Academy still has this, then they should definitely just do a bunch of white shirts and then be able to change the color of things. Again, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, and you like the things that I make, then please consider subscribing and liking this video. It would help a lot, and it doesn't cost anything. Bye!